My SIG P365 review, what no one's telling you. For the past six years, there has been a prevailing belief among gun owners that a concealed carry firearm should be slim, lightweight, single stack, and have a capacity ranging from six to eight rounds, all while being striker fired. Many have held on to the notion that a single stack design is essential to meet these requirements. Enter the SIG P365, which checks all the boxes. It boasts a slimmer profile than the Glock 43 and is lighter than the shield. The trigger, renowned not only within its class, but among modern defensive pistols, is nothing short of phenomenal. And let's not forget that it offers a standard capacity of 10 plus 1 rounds, surpassing the G43 by 4 rounds and the M&P shield by 3. With readily available 12-round magazines, the P365's capacity nearly doubles that of the Glock. It's no wonder that people are going crazy over this pistol. However, some aspects of the P365 might not yet be known to some of you. So before you decide to make a purchase, it's important you take a closer look at some of the features and specifications of this remarkable firearm. Hello everyone, this is Aaron from Line45. And in this video, I have listed some of the things that you need to know about the SIG P365. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it is a chore, but these simple clicks help my channel immensely. Now, let's return to the video. SIG P365 Specifications The SIG P365 is a compact 9mm pistol designed for self-defense. It offers a choice of 10 plus 1 or 12 plus 1 capacity, providing firepower in a small package. With dimensions of 1 inch width, 5.8 inches length, and 4.3 inches height, it's perfect for concealed carry. Despite its size, the P365 weighs 17.8 ounces, ensuring a comfortable shooting experience. Its 3.10 inch barrel balances accuracy and maneuverability. The six pound trigger offers a smooth and responsive pull for improved control. Equipped with X-Ray 3 day night sights, the P365 enhances visibility in all lighting conditions. With an MSRP of $599, it offers a competitive pricing. Additional magazines can be purchased separately. The 10 round magazine is $49 and the 12 round magazine is $55. Impressions on SIG P365's grip. Upon getting my hands on the SIG P365 months after its debut at SHOT Show, I couldn't help but be impressed by its remarkable grip. Drawing inspiration from the P320 and X series pistols, the grip felt exceptional as I held it. The stippling and smooth trigger guard undercut added to its appeal, providing a comfortable and secure grip that translated to improved control and more accurate shooting. What truly caught my attention was the well thought out back strap and beaver tail design of the grip, ensuring a perfect fit in the webbing of my hand. This not only enhanced the overall shooting experience, but also instilled a greater sense of control over the pistol. Surprisingly, the P365 boasted a low bore axis, a departure from the higher bore axis often associated with other Sig Sauer pistols, particularly those in the classic line. Nonetheless, this did not hinder my ability to quickly and efficiently shoot the P365. Trigger Design of Sig P365 the trigger of the SIG P365 immediately grabbed my attention. Upon my first press, I was pleasantly surprised by its quick and effortless firing. SIG claims a 6 pound trigger weight, and although I haven't measured it precisely, it feels about right. However, what truly sets this trigger apart is its ability to feel even lighter than its stated weight. It possesses a certain magic that delivers a delightful, light, and crisp trigger pull, especially for a striker-fired firearm. The trigger reset is outstanding, characterized by its short and well-defined action. This allows for rapid follow-up shots with ease. The initial take-up of the trigger is smooth and light, and once you encounter resistance, known as hitting the wall, there is only a quarter inch of remaining travel. Pressing the trigger through the stroke feels consistently smooth, and upon breaking, there is no discernible over-travel. 
A notable feature is the position at which the trigger breaks. Unlike the triggers that break near the rear of the trigger guard opening, the P365's trigger breaks with approximately 3 and 8 inches of open space behind it. This unique configuration provides an excellent balance in terms of the length of pull. It accommodates shooters with smaller hands effortlessly, while also delivering comfort and usability for those with larger hands. Sighting the P365 Sights the SIG P365 originally came equipped with SIG Light Knight sights, which are reliable tritium-based sights that surpass the quality of many stock pistol sights. However, early on in the P365's release, it was discovered that the extreme recoil velocity of the slide was causing the tritium vials to break. As a result, SIG Sauer replaced these sights with their new X-Ray 3 Day-Night sights. X-Ray 3 sights are exceptional. They offer excellent brightness in both daylight and low light conditions. The front sight features a tritium vial encircled by a vibrant green circle, making it highly visible during rapid strings of fire. In daytime use, the rear notch sight functions more like a blacked out rear sight, providing a clean sight picture. However, it also includes two tritium dots that become prominently visible in low light situations. Although these rear dots are visible during the day, they do not distract from the shooting experience. When shooting rapidly, the bright front sight is easily acquired within the rear notch, enabling quick and precise target alignment. How well does the P365 shoot? The shooting performance of the P365 is truly remarkable. From the moment I began shooting it, I realized it was a compact firearm that handled much like a larger gun. This is evident not only with its minimal felt recoil and muzzle rise, but also in its exceptional accuracy and the ease of which I confidently hit my target. Unlike some smaller guns that can be challenging to shoot accurately, the P365 delivers impressive results. When I align the bright green front sight with the target and execute a smooth trigger pull, hitting my intended target becomes second nature. Comparing it to my Glock 43, I find that shooting the P365 requires less focus on the sight picture. With the Glock, I often need to concentrate intensely, yet shots can still deviate unexpectedly. In contrast, my confidence with the P365 is exceptionally high, to the point where I find myself utilizing it in situations and taking on challenging shots that I typically reserve for my larger duty-sized handguns. Now, let's discuss the recoil of this handgun. Despite its smaller size, the P365 defies expectations by delivering less snappy recoil than similar guns in its category. It's as if there's some sort of magic at play. In fact, it even shoots flatter than some of my much larger and heavier firearms. Of course, your personal experience may vary depending on the effectiveness and tightness of your grip, but the overall performance of the P365 remains undeniably impressive. But is the P365 accurate? When it comes to accuracy, the Sig Sauer P365 proves its worth. Through extensive testing with various ammunition types, it consistently delivers impressive groupings. While I may not consider myself a top-notch bullseye or target shooter, I prefer speed, the P365 exhibited enough accuracy to meet the demands of a compact self-defense tool. At a distance of 15 yards, group sizes consistently measured around 3 inches. Unfortunately, I didn't have access to a longer range for further testing. In my pursuit of greater accuracy, I found that the width of the front sight post posted a challenge as it obscured a significant portion of the target beyond 15 yards. One notable factor contributing to its shooting prowess is the trigger. While I won't delve into it further, it is worth highlighting that the P365's trigger is highly conducive to easy and accurate shooting. The biggest showstopper, SIG P365's capacity. The SIG Sauer P365 garners significant attention for its impressive capacity, and rightly so. It's almost magical how the engineers in Exeter, New Hampshire managed to fit 10 or 12 rounds into such a slim and compact profile, rivaling the size of an SNW shield. It's a remarkable feat that seems almost mystical. Out of the box, the P365 comes with two 10 round magazines, one with a flush base plate and another with a slight pinky finger extension. Interestingly, after firing numerous rounds, I found myself leaning towards the flush base plate option for the 10-round magazines. 
Thanks to the clever design elements, such as the trigger guard undercut and grip features, I can still obtain a secure hold on the firearm, even with only half of my pinky finger on the grip. Surprisingly, I never felt compromised in my ability to shoot the gun accurately, unlike some competing models. For those seeking even greater capacity, the P365 offers a 12-round magazine. Although it slightly increases the grip length, it remains just marginally longer than other pistols with standard capacity magazines. Notably, the P365 with a 12-round magazine is actually shorter than an MP Shield with a factory 8-round magazine. Some minor gripes I have with the P365. Failure to extract malfunctions. Double feed malfunctions, also known as failure to extract, are a common issue that I've encountered with the P365 platform. This occurs when the fired case fails to fully extract, causing the next round to be pushed into the rear of the chambered empty casing. Resolving this mother of all malfunctions requires a series of steps. The shooter must lock the slide to the rear, remove the magazine, perform multiple slide racking actions, insert a loaded magazine, rack the slide again, and finally chamber a fresh round. Unlike simpler malfunctions like failure to fire or stovepipes, the double feed malfunction demands more time and effort to clear, especially in high pressure situations. Interestingly, the P365 experiences this type of malfunction at a higher rate compared to many other handguns. This could be attributed to its unique design and compact size. In my personal observation, I suspect that the gun unlocks slightly early while gas pressure is still elevated, causing the empty casing to become trapped in the chamber. Consequently, the extractor slips off the case's rim, resulting in the double feed malfunction. Front Sight Another minor issue I have noticed with the P365 is the design of the magazine release. While this may be specific to my personal experience, I believe a different approach could have been more effective. The P365 features a raised mag release button that follows the contour of the grip, whereas the P320 has a flat raised button. In my opinion, a hybrid design would have been preferable. A flat button with the rear starting flush with the grip. The reason for this preference is that due to the small size of the grip, there have been instances where my support hand inadvertently depresses the mag release during recoil, particularly when I grip the firearm too firmly. To avoid this, I have had to slightly relax my support hand grip. While this may not be a widespread issue, I believe a modified mag release design could enhance the overall shooting experience and mitigate the accidental activation of the release. My verdict. The SIG P365 has achieved an impressive feat by fitting 11 rounds into a compact and accurate striker-fired pistol. This makes it highly sought after by concealed carriers, potentially becoming their preferred choice. As someone who values reliability and has a strong loyalty to Glock, it's difficult for me to consider replacing my dependable G43 with any other brand. However, I must admit that this little pistol has sparked deep contemplation. While I'm not ready to make the switch just yet, as there are some functional issues that Sig Sauer needs to address, I remain open to the possibility in the future. The P365 undeniably possesses great potential and holds a promising future. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.